What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of our tribal playthrough here in RimWorld. It's a little bit nastier. It's a little bit nastier out here than it used to be, but that's because we're doing a tribal playthrough, which means we don't have the technological resources that normally we would have available to us. We're researching really, really hard, but it's just not helping out that much. We've got... Oh, you've been stabbed with a spear. I need somebody to wake up. And I need you to prioritize helping her. Otherwise, she's going to get infectonated and our life is going to be ruined. Meanwhile, over here, did somebody bandage her up? Good. Somebody somebody sawed off her ear, dude. That fight got hectic. In the previous episode, we had had a raid. Somebody had come right at us. And I said, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me that bitch over there's ear. And so that's what they did. And she tried to stab us with a spear. I mean, what do you do when somebody tries to stab you with a spear? Legitimately. You got to handle it somehow. You got to ride out and you got to be tough. You gotta be strong, you gotta be bold, you gotta be a baller. -er. All I know, all I know is I will trade away. Ee ee. Alright, you go over there and talk to Bomba. Let me speed the game up a little bit. I think Bonzo should be feeling better pretty soon. We got more. Oh, we don't have more herbal medicine, actually. We do have a great bow, though. How does that differ? 18 damage on the great bow versus 10 from that one. So I'm thinking we should absolutely. Have somebody swap that on out. In the meantime, we don't actually need anything that they have. I would sell white, except that we need white. White would be useful to us. We need more bodies. The benefit of being a tribe is that you have greater numbers than everybody else. We've already lost one of those numbers. Somebody died. It was... It just happened. It wasn't like a thing that we planned on happening. It's just somebody died of an infection. They were 94% or 91% immune. And down they went. We only have herbal medicine available to us. In a lot of ways, playing tribals is like playing on hard mode. It's rough. I'm going to have her see if she can rearm this trap over here. Maybe haul her? Hopefully she doesn't step on the trap in order to get after this. That's my hope. There are booby traps right here. This should be the only way into our base. We saw them try to get in through down there. I want to make sure this doesn't go completely and totally wrong. Ooh, why are you hauling over there? Why didn't you go this way? Must have been a shorter path to go that way. Alright. I'm not a fan, but I can live with it. Meanwhile, this prisoner needs to be chatted up and recruited. We don't really have much of a choice here. We need more people. And so it looks like, oh, he tamed a cassowary. That's pretty cool. I forgot we were working on that. He was named uh, the ever-attractive Cassowary One. Okay, Cassowary. I don't know if you say wary, wary. I don't know what you say. A steel spear? <gasps> 17 damage? Dude, we just moved up the tech tree right here. So who's got our badass melee skill here? Who's pretty good at thumping? You go over and get that steel spear right now. I demand that you do it. And is she going to come back this way, I hope? I would very much prefer, so Banasutra, or whatever your name is, Banastra, rearm that trap. I'm going to watch and make sure that this doesn't go too rowdy. I may also put in several more over here for if they decide to cut corners or anything like that. I don't know. Booby trapping seems like the way to go. Got one right there. I would say adding a few more is not the most terrible plan. But we gotta watch people because I guess I was talking to Shen, Shenmer. Check his channel out. He's cool. He plays a lot of Hearts of Iron. Um, anyways, I was talking to Shen and he was saying your own guys can trigger your own traps. They're apparently prone to doing dumb things. I think for right now the line of traps that we currently have should be good enough. If the enemies land down here, we may have to do better. But up until that point, I don't know. We may also want to consider strongly walling this off right here if we can make it happen we can make uranium walls uranium walls that definitely sounds walls of uranium that sounds like a actually i should probably put a door or something right there i mean the enemies will kick it down bet that at least allows traders and stuff to come to our settlement and make our lives a little bit easier i would love to buy some guns or something that would be great I don't think by any means we are restricted to only using Stone Age technology while we're here. We're doing, we're doing research as fast as we can. The unfortunate truth of the matter here, though, 
is that it takes a while. It flat out takes a while. I'm hoping that at some point we'll be back up to, you know, 15, level 16, but we're just going to have to wait it out. I've also heard that you can make booby traps and then set zones where no one will go. So I've seen a couple people do this, where you put in a line of walls, you put all traps behind it, you put a door right there, they'll kick in the door, then they got to walk down the hallway of traps in order to get to you. Seems to work pretty well, except for the fact that you got to deconstruct your walls and rebuild all the traps every single time that it happens. So, I'll wait until things get a little bit more desperate before I do that. But I do need to take this zoning right here. And I want this to be a forbidden zone. We want this to be... So, see, we don't want that to be home one. We don't want that at all. Let me clear this home zone right here. We don't want that to be home in the slightest. If that's home, we've got problems. We've got pretty good steel reserves. We've got a pretty decent amount of raw materials. I do think we could make with some pretty cool, nasty, deviant weaponry out here if we really, really want to. I'm a tag concerned they'll be able to walk out that way. And in fact, it might be worth it to take somebody and see if she can go out like so. Yeah, there's a corner right there that we just can't seem to get taken care of. Oh, it's because people can walk across marshes, but you can't build on them. So that's a glaring security flaw that we need to fix. Let's go ahead. We're going to take a wooden wall down here. Actually, I'll do the wooden wall right there because I want that steel. We'll put a wooden door on that side. We will focus on deconstructing all of this. I mean, there's really no reason for us to have this here. So let me get the rubber band box. Let me just break things down and get my money back. We should probably put some torches in and around to give people some light and make them feel better about their situation. But as of right now, I feel okay safe. I don't feel like super safe. But this is probably not going to be a long playthrough anyways. Most of the people I've talked to have said that they're tribal playthroughs. And these are people that are really good at the game. We're like, my tribal playthroughs are rough. It's just something that people aren't experienced with yet. And so anyways, there, there's going to be a learning curve, obviously. There's going to be a learning curve. I need to cancel you. Yep. Cancel you like bad cable service. Who has that anymore? As long as this kills like one or two guys each time they come through, I'd be okay with it. I'd probably put a row right there too and a row right there. They've always landed from up and in over here, so I assume that's where the land is that the enemy is attacking from. There's a map around here somewhere, so... It's probably from that base right there that we're getting attacked from. Here, I'll give you a little look-see. So there's a base right there. And that is the Rapiers, and that is the group that's been hitting us a lot. And so the faction base for Aya is over here. Let's skip through the night. Skipping through the night. That's what we're going to do right now. Skipping through the night. Just skipping. Making with the skippage. Is Val my artist, too? I think Val is my artist. Yeah, do we have anybody else that's reasonably decent at it? It wouldn't be a terrible plan to maybe set up, or somebody that at least has a passion for it, it might not be a bad idea to make a sculpture or two that we might be able to sell once we get a few more traders. With the cassowary, I would recommend we'll go obedience training and release training. How are you? The dog healed up perfectly fine. Our dog got shot in the previous episode by multiple arrows. It was no funsies. We want somebody with a bow to go equip a great bow. That would be Highly preferable. She's not good at melee, so I'm going to give her a shot at having a bow for a little bit. And I didn't mean for that to be punny. It just kind of was as a side effect. I do think we're going to have to kill this panther after a little bit. Panther's a little, little must up. Will probably bleed out on its own, I think. I just don't want it attacking my cassowary. So... Yeah, tame that one too. Why not? I just like having more pets around, because if there's pets around, there's stuff for the enemy to attack when shit goes wrong. 5% chance to tame is not bad. Why are you wardening? You've got 11 in animals? I don't think you should be doing that. I don't think you should be doing that at all. Yeah, leave it to the girl with 16, please. I will rotate her in if we end up losing the girl with the really, really high stats for managing our crops and stuff like that. But up until it becomes 
immediately necessary. Who cares? I'm a little curious if we start Devil's Strand instead. So it looks like we can bang through this. I wonder if my tech level goes up as I work my way down the list. That's what I've been curious about. And it looks like we're going to finish this a lot quicker. Stone working would also be advantageous because we could start using some of this stone that's laying around in order to make some bricks. And I feel good about brick working. We might be able to make some stronger walls, some stuff like that in order to take the edge off. Just in case our enemies come a knocking. We've got uranium. I'm excited about selling the uranium. I, I would like to get rid of it. Beer brewing would also be something that I'd like to get into now that we have all these hops available. Our heel root is still taking its sweet ass time to get done. So unfortunately, we'll just have to get by without it. Has anybody actually gone in to talk to White? There we go. A 2% chance to recruit. How upset is this character? Cramped environment, feeling terrible, in darkness. Okay. Well, here, I don't know. Can torch fires spread? I kind of feel like torch fires can potentially spread. It looks like it's giving me a red box in there, which leads me to believe it's probably a bad plan. How do I have lamps? What happened there? That's kind of interesting. Where did all these things come from? We didn't have these before. We still don't have access to some of the things. I'm wondering if that's a bug, because they did a mini hotfix patch this morning. That's got me a little bit interested. It is entirely possible. Maybe that was there, and I just didn't notice it. But this doesn't seem like something we'd be able to craft at our tech level. I don't know. Put that right there. I mean, if we got access to it, whatever. I'm not going to complain about it. Apparently, it's a boon from the gods. We've been inspired. We've been inspired by divinity in order to be better villagers. Hmm. I don't know what to say about it. It doesn't look like it affected too many other things. Maybe it was affected by God. I don't even know. I'm not sure. I don't know, make animal beds, I guess. We'll put some animal beds around. We've got cotton for it. Maybe they unlock when you pick up the... Huh. Maybe they... When you pick up the requisite thing that you need in order to make this work. I don't know. Maybe when you pick up the cotton or whatever, it unlocks new things that you can do with it. I'm... Unsure at the moment. It's fine. I'll take whatever help I can get right now. We've already... How fast does that make her work out of curiosity? She's not working super quick. We got one statue right here. A steel small sculpture. It's called White Terror. On this carving is an artwork of Banastra Canto teaching release to a Labrador, or a Labrador Retriever as others look on. The Labrador Retriever is emitting effortful grunts. The lower part of the image is dominated by a river and the style is abstract with romantic elements. This portrayal relates to the training of the Labrador Retriever on the 6th of winter, 5499. Alright, we're commemorating our, our animal love. I'll probably try to unload these hops a little bit later. My expectation is that we might not have a raid for a little bit because we got like two in a row. Like very, very quickly. Like in quick succession, we got hit twice. So I'm thinking the story might lean off of us for a minute. There you go. So with the research, that's up to 11, strong expert. That's not moving along at a crazy high rate, but it should be done in a couple of days. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to see what happens. Depending on our tech level here, this could go a lot of different ways. Keep this thing sped up for right now. They're working on sculptures. We can sell those for decent amounts of money. They're not worth like a fortune or anything like that. But market value is 285. I mean, you make enough of these, we might be able to trade into some firearms. I don't know if technology trading or anything like that is in the game yet, where you can have somebody come along and teach you how to do things that you're not quite at the level of yet. I don't know how to say that appropriately without sounding offensive. I don't know. Like, we are primitive right now. Very primitive. We're firing bows. And luckily, the bows are not bad. 
The bows are not bad at all. They're okay. We could use refrigeration. I think that's the big thing that I miss, is I would love to have some refrigeration. Noah is being attacked by a panther. Ugh, everybody ride out and help the dog. There you go. Come on, save the dog. There we go, we saved the dog. Okay, so somebody rescue Noah. We'll butcher you for dinner. So Noah gave his life for a good for a good cause, even if he ends up dying. He helped us out. Our cassowary looks like it's going to go sleep in one of the beds. Oh my god, that's adorable. Dude, I would get a pet ostrich or a pet cassowary so fast. Those things are so legit. I wouldn't trust them. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't trust them with my safety. But I'm just saying, I, I would have one as a pet. I would give them a little helmet and everything and a neck guard because that seems like the weak spot on them. Landoa, can you do me a favor and prioritize treating the dog? If the dog dies, we're going to have kind of a rough day. How are you doing on doctoring, by the way? Also, why are you not using medicine? She actually gets a pretty good amount of... Like, that's not bad. She gets a decent amount of medicine XP every single time she does that. Uh-oh, all sixes. Sign of the devil, sign of the devil, city on fire! City on fire! Well... Let's have a look at our architect's menu here and decide what we want to do. There's a marriage spot, the tool cabinet, so one workbench can be simultaneously linked to two tools cabinets. Okay. Got chess tables. Got a number of interesting things. Hmm. I am interested in doing like another row over here, just to make sure whatever comes at us, we get at least a couple of them each time that we do this. You gotta space them a little bit though. So that people can get through. Because if people can't get through, they can't fix the traps in the front. And so we're giving, I mean, I guess I could have them go the long way around this way, but that just seems cumbersome and unnecessary. We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do with the next raid. If it ends up being something that we can't handle, then I think I can live with it. He's injured. Does he have any infections or anything? His nose got torn off, bro. Panthers, man. Panthers. Do we not have a butcher bill up anymore? I'm gonna remake it because they patch the game, and sometimes weird things happen. Do forever. So why is the panther going over there? No, butcher the panther. Huh. Maybe the panther is beyond... I mean, I just wanted the skins or whatever. That would have been nicer. I would have liked to have acquired the hide. We've got another one over here. A wooden small sculpture, which is poor. This one is worth $100, although I doubt we'll get that. A torso-sized piece of metal sculpted into the artistic form. This work bears a portrayal of a solitary housewife. There is a district in the upper part of the image. The overall composition is rectangular. Oh, yeah, she's an outlander, so she should be... She's the only one of our tribe who is not one of us. Somebody should, uh, here, I'll take you off research until we get him recruited. Swap somebody out. Can you see the white? Maybe not, because white's not a white. There it is. I wanted the panther skins. The panther skins are usually pretty useful for crafting and stuff like that. So is nobody going to warden that person? Let me see here. Val 2 should have warden skills. Take that up to rank 1. Maybe it's because White's asleep. That's probably it. 
That's more than likely it. Bonzo's not bad at this. Not terrible at all. Moving along. I mean, I'm just looking for trade fodder and stuff like that. Can you feed a dog potatoes? I don't know if that's, like, veterinarian approved. It seems iffy. Oh, no. I mean, I'm not an animal specialist. I know dogs are scavengers, and they'll pretty much eat whatever. We probably should build more houses, too. Just a future proof. Call that a house right there. Call that a house right there. I know it's cramped spaces, but, you know, we've got limited building space, and so I think everybody's going to have to bite the bullet a little bit when it comes to being a part of the community. Lots and lots of things for trade. Lots and lots of things for trade, if it ever comes around. We may have a bit too much farming going on, too. Not really sure how I want to use traps effectively either. I'm kind of thinking about grid patterns and stuff like that. But all of them have the chance of either a random trader coming through and stepping on it, which I don't want to deal with the fallout of. And then also there's the chance that my own people will step on it because they are not the brightest. They are not the bulb that burns brightly in the summer's eve. They're kind of like one of those middle watt bulbs. They're not quite all there. People hanging out, having their joy time right now. Good. Actually, sort of surprised we only have a 4% chance right there. His social's pretty decent. It's not the best I've ever seen. I mean, do we have anybody else that does better? I don't think that we do. Most of our people seem to be pretty socially handicapped. So... I, I put a light in there, but I'm worried the damn thing's gonna burn down. I guess better with a prisoner than... I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think I know what's going to happen, but we're going to test the theory anyways. And with that, we're out of time. Let's find out if tomorrow everything bursts into a fiery conflagration. This is RimWorld Alpha 14. My name is Splattercat. I will see you all there. Bye, everybody.